Pandemic brought with it a slew of new pet owners, people stuck at home and looking for a new companion to keep them company. But now that parks are busier and more people are getting together, Humane Society officers are seeing a disturbing and dangerous trend. I looked into this pandemic pooch problem to find out what pet owners and the general public can do to stay safe. Oh, very healthy. That's good. Yeah, it's, that's wonderful. Emma is a four and a half year old mix of some sort, but given those cute ears and her liveliness, there's likely a little happy on in this pup. There are so many things about her personality that are just, were such a pleasant surprise. That surprise adoption for Catherine Murphy happened at the one year point of the pandemic. The timing was nice to have a new furry friend, not only for Catherine, but her two cats. I just enjoy their companionship. But that new bond with Emma, Catherine quickly learned, had some limitations. We have to go at her pace. You see, Emma isn't fond of men. As that person is retreating, she'll go for the, she might go for their ankles. Turns out little Emma isn't the only panicky pooch in San Diego. More dogs are nipping and gnawing. We are seeing an uptick in bites. Captain Biden. Danny Cook with the San Diego Humane Society says her law enforcement officers see about five bites a day. That number has gone up as COVID restrictions were relaxed. These are recent photos of dog bites. Some are too gruesome to show. My officers are reporting that they're definitely seeing more bites um, in the home and uh, outside at our parks. The number of daily dog bites this spring compared to last spring is up 10%, and those are only the bites reported. Off-leash citations give a better view of the problem. We're only halfway through the year, and officers have already issued 11% more citations than 2020 and 43% more off-leash tickets than in 2019. We're seeing a lot more dogs off leash because the owners are throwing balls with their dogs and they're, you know, meeting friends and family at parks. So man and man's best friend are misbehaving and that's where Amanda Kowalski can and, help out. You know, because of social isolation and social distancing, there have been a lot of changes with how our animals, especially our dogs, are interacting um, in the public. Amanda runs the Humane Society's behavior programs. She brought her dog Mozart, who, yes, is classically trained, to give tips for distraught dog owners. Go slow. You know, make sure that you're focusing more on the quality of the interaction versus the quantity of the exposure. Other tips before bringing your pup down to the park here, text a friend, set up a play date with one other dog, see how that goes. If they pass the sniff test, then you can bring them down here to the dog park in off peak times, then at a busier time. Always be sure to leash up your dog. And if you're in public, you're at the park or you're out around town, never just walk up to a dog and offer your hand. Best thing to do is step to the side um, and approach and kind of bend down sideways so it's less confrontational. And you see how Mozart comes up and approaches you. So that worked with Mozart, but what about that approach with Emma? Down like this, but that didn't work for that. <laughs> Sorry, nope, Emma. she wasn't having it. Proving each dog has its own comfort level around strangers. It's why socialization training, especially as COVID restrictions ease up, is so important. I thought she would warm up to people more quickly than she has, so that's where it's taking us longer than I expected. Still, Catherine says MA's made a lot of progress the past few months. You may know that your animal is the sweetest little thing in the world, but it um, if they don't act that way towards other people, that's that's your responsibility to to control them. Speaking of sweet, watch how little MA eventually warms up to me as I interact with her newfound mom, Catherine. See, you know I speak dog, you know I love dog. Yes, a dog's love is worth the time it takes to earn it. Emma must have uh, smelled my dog on my clothes or something there. She finally warmed up to me. Another phenomenon stemming from the pandemic. This one is a positive one. Zoom training sessions like these ones have been popular and very successful. It turns out dogs learn better in the home environment instead of all the distractions that happen at a training facility. We've posted how to take advantage of the Humane Society's free training sessions, a free behavior helpline you can just call, along with more helpful tips on our website, cbs8.com. Just click on the help button.